Our final presenter this evening is the scientist in residence at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and a professor of pure mathematics at the University of Sheffield. Profiled just last week in the New York Times, Dr. Eugenia Chang adopts a literal approach to making math more appetizing. Her popular book is called How to Bake Pi, that's P-I 3.14 Pi, an edible exploration of the mathematics of mathematics, and it received rave reviews and it's earning her fame as a math popularizer. Further cementing her art and science connections, Dr. Chang also is a classical concert pianist. Please welcome Dr. Eugenia Chang. When I say I'm a mathematician, people say all sorts of funny things to me. <laughs> Sometimes they say, wow, you must be really clever. I like that. I like to think I'm really clever. They used to say, oh, I can't do math. But now they're more likely to say, I wish I understood math better. And I really like that because I love explaining math and sharing my love of math with people. Sometimes they say, oh, well, math is all just about right and wrong, isn't it? I mean, one add one just is two. And to that, I say, nope, one add one can be anything you want it to be. Because contrary to popular opinion, math is not just about a bunch of rules that you have to follow. It's not just about right and wrong. It's about understanding things logically. And yes, there are rules. But it's only really in school that they force those kind of boring rules on you. I found math in school kind of boring. <laughs> Just like, I mean, they force all sorts of boring rules on you at school, and most of it doesn't make sense at the time. But in real math, which is different from school math, in real math, <laughs> we, are, we are explorers. Now, we're not explorers of the real wilderness, like Paul here. We're explorers of the logical wilderness. We make up rules to create logical worlds and see what happens there. For example, if you decide that you want one add one to equal zero, you're in the world of knots, that's N-O-T, where if you say, I'm not not hungry, that's the same as saying, I'm hungry. One knot and another knot makes zero knots. And children like saying, I'm not, 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 not hungry. And then they have hysterics because no one can tell whether they're hungry or not hungry. <laughs> what about if you decide you want one add one to equal one? I had an art student at the School of the Art Institute who made a stained glass window showing one add one equals one. And his rule was if you add one color to another color, you get one color. You don't get two colors. And so he made a stained glass window showing those color combinations in the glass. And it was beautiful, both physically and intellectually. So what if one add one equals three? Well, in that case, everything will equal zero. You'll end up in the zero world, which is like my world of candy when I was little and I was allergic to all of it. Aww. The zero world is not very interesting, but it's very important, a bit like some people who are not very interesting, but very important. <laughs> <laughs> math, especially pure math, is about making up your own rules, which is much more fun than following anyone else's rules. It means that math is about freedom. It's about dreaming. One of my art students told me last year she never thought she could have so much freedom while doing math and that actually that was rather terrifying because freedom was something she associated with art, not math. And as Miguel said, well, art, contemporary art, is about you and actually math isn't so different. Math is about you. Math is about understanding how we think. It's not just about solving problems. And this brings me to a question I'm asked a lot, because I happen to be a mathematician and a female person. <laughs> and there are stereotypes about men and women in math, and I don't have to tell you what they are, and the numbers are pretty terrible at the moment, better than they used to be, but still terrible. Now, I absolutely do not believe that men are better than women at math. And I don't have time to go into this, but I just want to sow this one seed of thought. Mathematics has an image problem and we should change that. But men and women also have an image problem. 
And we should change that too. I think we should stop talking about masculine and feminine characteristics because using those gendered words immediately biases us about what men and women are supposed to do. Now, because I like making up my own rules, I also like making up my own words. And so I've started using the words ingressive and congressive. Ingressive for going into things, congressive for bringing things together. Now, people think that math is about solving problems. That's kind of an ingressive activity. Whereas really deep down, math is about understanding things and bringing things together and shedding light on things. And that's a congressive activity. It's about unification. It's about helping people make progress. And you know what? There are too many people who want to keep people out of math to keep their own status in it. I don't believe in that. Just like uh, Betty said, children need to dream. And just like Vicky said, what we need to do is inspire people, not force rules on them. And so that's what I believe that we should do. We should bring people in and inspire them to dream. Thank you. <laughs>